This is Jonathan Pines from Rupert Neve Designs, and I'm here to show you how to set up and use your new RMP D8 Dante Remote Controlled Mic Preamp and Converter. Before we get started, you will need to plug in and power up your RMP D8. The RMP D8 has two separate power supplies for redundancy that automatically switch over in the event of a failure. To take advantage of this feature, two IEC cables are recommended and maybe even two separate AC circuits. The front panel LEDs will illuminate to indicate which power supplies are active. You will need some cables, and those will vary depending on your application and the gear that you're using them with. For the inputs, you'll need XLR mic cables, and keep in mind that the combi jacks on the RMP D8 will also accept quarter inch balanced TRS plugs, and switching to line level will allow you to access the amazing mastering grade A to D converters. You can connect the outputs via Dante or use the AES outputs. If you're using the AES outputs, you'll need four 110 ohm AES cables. Today, we're gonna to use the Dante networking connectivity of the RMP D8. So an ethernet cable and a network switch are required. First, you wanna connect your ethernet connection to the network switch. Next, you wanna connect your XLR mic cable. You also have an option of using a quarter inch TRS balanced plug. If you're using the AES outputs, you're gonna to wanna to connect a 110 ohm balanced AES cable. Now it's time to power up the RMP D8. You should see the OLED screen light as the unit boots up. The RMP D8 is capable of a variety of sample rates from 44.1K all the way up to 192K and those are chosen in the Dante controller software from a connected computer. Go in to Dante controller, click on device, then device view, and choose RMP D8 from the drop-down menu. Choose the tab that reads device config, and then set the sample rate to match the other devices on the network. You'll notice the light on the front of the RMP D8 confirms our choice. The front panel of the RMP D8 has one set of controls that is shared between eight channels. Simply press the button under the channel meter to target that particular channel. Now it's time for some sound. Select channel one. If you're using a condenser microphone that requires phantom power, press the 48 volt phantom power switch. If you're using a passive microphone or line inputs, this is actually unnecessary. Now slowly turn up the large red gain control knob until the level shows you in the yellow. This is usually a pretty good place to start. If you find that the level is too hot with the gain knob set in the lowest position, engage the 10 dB pad. If you want to reduce low frequencies, engage the high pass filter. This will roll off everything starting at 80 Hertz. In the event that you're placing two microphones on a source that might be out of phase with each other, you can select the polarity switch. One common example is when you're miking the top and the bottom of a snare drum. Reverse the polarity on the bottom snare drum mic only to maintain the correct phase relationship. You can repeat these steps on the other seven channels by selecting the switch below the appropriate meter and making your choices. Now it's time to start using and enjoying your new Rupert Neve Designs RMP D8. If you're looking for specific setup information for your interface, your console, or an application, look for one of the other videos in this series. Remember, you can learn more about all our gear at rupertneve.com, and please feel free to contact us with any questions. Enjoy your new RMP D8.